Jose. Hey, this is really on? weird. Yeah, listen. I looked down on my leg, and like uh-huh. under my knee, there was no hair, nothing. It was no complete. Hair. Yes. My my shin was empty. It was a vacant shin. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam, and this is A. And today, we are getting into National Lampoon's Vacant Shin, or should I say Vacation? Uh, this is a movie that both Zay and I have not seen. If you guys know already, we have. Last year, we reacted to National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Um, that was a movie that Zay had seen before that I had not. Uh, and a lot of people mentioned you, that it wasn't the first one out of the series. This one is the first one out of the series. So we are super excited to get into this one now. Uh, again, Christmas Vacation was the only one that you've seen. That's correct, right, Zay? Yes, yes. I wasn't yeah. aware there was multiple, but I've never seen any other ones. Yeah, yeah. So this will be the next one on the list for us. And we will keep in mind that this takes place before Christmas Vacation. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's a comedy. It's the Griswold family. It's a comedy adventure, uh, 1983. Other than that, I really don't know anything else about this movie. Uh, they have an RV. I know that, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't remember for sure. But um, Zay, is there anything you know about this movie before we get into it? No, but I am super excited to get into this because, you know, I mean, the Christmas Vacation was so funny. And yeah. finding out that, that that wasn't even the first one, I'm I'm interested to see... Um, interested to see this this one because maybe we'll see some similarities that are drawn that were drawn into christmas vacation we should say because it was the second installment maybe we can see where they adjusted things and give a kind of a comparison what we think is a little bit it was maybe one was funnier than the other it's always interesting yeah. seeing uh series or multiple films in a franchise yeah i remember us dying laughing at that movie that was really funny so i'm sure it'll be similar in some way chevy chase amazing comedic oh, timing man. amazing uh, comedic actor so uh, looking forward to see what he has in store for this one, but there's only one way to find out, and uh, that's to get into it. But before we do, if you like what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies, as well as get three the movie reactions ahead of YouTube, you can check that out. The link is in the description. Uh, sorry, I was busy practicing my wildlife photography skills I learned online through Skillshare. What What is that? Oh, Skillshare? It's this wonderful online learning community where you can learn from creatives who are skilled in their field. I'm talking about the bird on your chair. What do you mean? Yeah. Skillshare offers a variety of different options, so find what you like. And if you're interested, help support the channel and get 30% off your first year by using our promo code Cam and Zay. Any final thoughts before we jump into the movie? No, I think I'm ready to get into this vacation or this vacant shin. All right, here we go. Don't, oh man. Oh, you <laughs> crawled up in the chair to show your vacant shit. So this is interesting, right? Because mm-hmm. the Christmas vacation had an had an animated intro. And this is like mm-hmm. animated postcards kind of. Oh, John oh, Candy no. is in this? Oh. John Candy was uh in uh John Candy was the uh guy from Plane Trains and Automobiles. Mm-hmm. You can't wait, can you? Definitely does not look like his son from Christmas Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> right here, the wagon. Dad, this is not the car you ordered. Take it easy, Rusty. Ed, uh, this is not the car I ordered. But his kid was named Rusty last time, right? It was. Are we misremembering something? I don't think so. If you can't get it for me, I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Where's my old car? Oh, sh- oh, oh! Well, you're buying a car today, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Get Mr. Griswold's car back and bring it back here. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> gonna come up like a Rubik's cube back. like this. What's that? It's yeah. a car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yep, you got your car. That's a crazy way to corner somebody into buying something. <laughs> well, we destroyed what you were trading in, so <laughs> you're going to have to purchase something. Clark, is that the right car? No, it isn't, honey. I uh, I changed my mind. Yo, I'm sure you did. <laughs> you may think you hate it now, honey, but where do you drive it? <laughs> 
Who wants to see the triptych? What? Dad, we're playing. Okay, shut off the video games. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Now let's just take a look at uh, day one, shall we? This technology is insanely old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Playing Pac-Man. Okay, now I think we're moving toward the grand. Thank you. Good shot, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't we flying? Because getting there is half the fun. You know that. Oh my gosh. That's. That was good. Gosh, that, that was, was funny. Good. Man, times have changed. If I was going yeah. away for two weeks, I'd be like, "All right, peace, y'all. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back real quick." Actually, it's gonna be like nothing. <laughs> Wally World, here we come. Oh, no. yeah, Disaster struck imme immediately. Right there, I would have canceled the whole trip. <laughs> that would have been my final straw. That's it. Clark, I think this is the wrong exit. What's the difference as long as we get across the river? Well, I don't know if you're going to get across the river if you take the wrong exit. Wrong. <laughs> and now look at where you're at. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Just relax, Ellen. This is so dangerous. We have no business. <laughs> the kids are like, where the fuck are we? Make us appreciate what we have. <laughs> Roll them up. <laughs> 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 I've okay. That's been referenced before in a Family Guy. I think there's a Family Guy that references that oh. roll 'em up. That roll 'em up line. That's hilarious. Uh, I wonder if you could tell me how to get back on the expressway. Please. Hey, fuck your mama. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> your mama. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate your time. I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, give me directions back onto the expressway. Five dollars. I'm not going to give you five dollars for directions. I think that's fair, Clark. <laughs> He's like, give him the fucking five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> give him the five. Keep the change. Okay. Now, uh, you see, uh, you see. Oh my no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my gosh! This ain't even my neighborhood. I'm from the west side of Chicago. Here on vacation. Thanks a lot. You've been a great help. Oh, this ain't good. Remember what we did in the car? It's amazing we didn't get in an accident. He just cuts to the sun like this. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't fallen asleep yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna put your head in my lap? It's not what I was thinking. <laughs> now the daughter's like, the daughter's looking at Rusty like. <laughs> 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 Stuck. I know what you're trying to do, and I think it's sick. <laughs> but that was a dirty trick. You get weird when you get tired. Let's just find a motel. <laughs> That's a crazy statement. <laughs> get weird when you get tired. You go another hundred miles. Come on. No problem. Oh, oh no! Oh my, <laughs> my wait, gosh! Wait. Why are you the first Tesla. Oh, they are lucky they are on an open road. Oh no, but he just is drifting. I don't even know where he just went. <laughs> he just took an eggs. Is he in a Tesla? What is this? How is this? Oh, oh my god! Oh. 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 oh my god! Oh. I mean, this is basically if you're drunk driving, like, this is what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> you are not a responsible. Honky lips? <laughs> Wait, what? Someone wrote that. Did they, did they write that? In the yeah, I guess. <laughs> They're in the city or honky lips. <laughs> well, up and at them. I'm We're here. that one down. <laughs> That's crazy. Could you imagine waking up and there's just five cop cars with sirens behind you, I'd be like, uh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Here's to a very restful vacation. This is a massaging bed? Let's try this, my darling. Uh, uh, talking. <laughs> okay, that is one solution. Uh. What's that noise? What's going on? 
Hey, don't you kids knock anymore? Oh, gosh. It's very late. Where's Mom? I'm under here, kids. I'm so excited. Oh, oh, don't. Just eyes forward, my man. I don't care who started. I don't want to hear another word out. Even want to think about tomorrow. Oh, no. This is love me craziness. Clark, you're doing 80 miles an hour. Doesn't seem like it, does it, honey? Slow down! <laughs> His Come bliss on, got him taken away right there. <laughs> well, how old are you, little one? Uh, she's born without a tongue, Clark. He whistles like a bird and eats like a horse. Oh. <laughs> how <laughs> Poor girl. It's just like you ever get like that unlucky where you like go to say something, they're like, oh, well, actually, they're born with this insert insane affliction that like <laughs> yeah. never has ever occurred. Where you're like, okay, well. A French kiss. So everybody does that. Yeah, but daddy says I'm the best at it. <laughs> Aunt Edna! Helper's getting cold. Is that your Aunt Edna? Oh no. Oh shit. <laughs> Good. Oh. <laughs> Dang. You get away with anything when you're old though. <laughs> Did you tell Clark and Ellen the good news? Uh no, I was just about to. You're driving me to Phoenix! <laughs> Absolutely not. Don't get offended, but being a farmer is not too cool, you know. How cool is this? Oh, is that supposed to be weed? I'm guessing. They're about to get fucked up. <laughs> Damn. Clark and Ellen don't want to hear about our troubles. Why don't you just ask him for the money, Eddie? He sure as hell can't take a hint. You get bitch. Get her out of here. I want it. Oh. <laughs> No extra cash? Sure, Eddie. <laughs> this man's getting robbed in the ghetto. I fit you two thousand dollars. Oh well. Hi, how are you, little fella? Oh, oh, oh. He's oh. <laughs> yikes. Yikes. Better make some space for him in the back. Come on. Ow, oh, ow. oh, oh, <laughs> no. oh, 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 no. Have a good trip. Thanks, Vic. Oh, yeah. They, she just stocked her up like crazy. <laughs> you have Cujo Jr., the most negative aunt I've ever met. And now your daughter who's blazing. She's got like four joints in her purse. Oh, Rusty, stop playing with the dog and come and have some lunch. <laughs> yeah, <he's having> a... <laughs> oh, no. no. Not. Please, not again. What's on my mind? Here in the night, here in the night. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't, 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 don't. don't Absolutely don't, don't, not. Don't, Absolutely don't, not. Don't. Absolutely don't. not. Okay. Right. It, I thought he was going to start still... getting real dangerous. Oh, okay. Okay. They're all wet. But... Oh, God. The dog went on the picnic basket. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way. Edna! Oh. <laughs> Edna! Edna, no. you're a fucking monster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, when I saw her take her glasses off, I was like, she's going to take another bite. <laughs> Cam's about to puke. <laughs> oh, honey, right now we're one. One heart beating for two. Uh, he does love his wife. He's very romantic. He's very sweet with his wife. He's just a goofball. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> it's just dinkums. Oh. <laughs> Despite all the little problems, it really is fun, isn't it? No. <laughs> hey, kids, let's go! Leave some daylight here! I'd be like, I don't know what happened. Your dog ran away. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it just left. Stop. I'm sorry, we lost your aunt and the dog. I don't know where Aunt Edna or Dinkums is. Oh shoot! Now what are we doing? They, what? Will you hold my purse? Where is the dog? I don't. I don't. The last know. time the the dog. Oh, and she got out of the cup. She she's got a marijuana on her, yo. She's got to hide. She handed over. She handed over to to Aunt Edna. And it's gonna start smoking that shit up, yo. If I wasn't in uniform, I'd split your skull with the butt of this revolver faster than you could say police brutality. It's gotta be the dog. Explain this, you son of a bitch. It really was an accident. Yeah. Well, I guess I can buy that. Yeah, he doesn't look like he gives a shit. Yeah. I had a pooch like this when, when I was a kid. Tough little mutt. <laughs> yeah. It's really morbid. Jesus. Here's the leash, sir. I'm going back to get the rest of the carcass off the road. Oh. <laughs> you might as well put her in the back. You might as well get her out of that car at this point. Don't think you're going to find the Grand Canyon. Road closed. It's only the biggest goddamn They're hole Arizona. in the world. Clark, watch your language. Oh, gosh. Where are they headed? Oh shit! Jesus, who who decided to make a jump right there? Oh. Okay. All right, so time for the cut. hospital. I should never have come on this trip with you. I should have taken an airplane. Sit down and shut up. Yeah, talk your talk, girl. Move out of that seat, oh. and I'll split your lip. <laughs> Damn. It's giving me a chance to spend a lot nope. more time with you and... Uh, uh, Audrey. Audrey, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. When I was your age, my dad shared a beer with me, and I thought it was about the best thing in the world. He's not going to like that. I don't think any kid ever likes the first taste of beer. Oh, he likes it. And you know, in 18 years... Oh, he years, really likes it. We never had fun. Oh, he's a huge fan. He's built for baseball. We're going to have fun. <laughs> so now you have a high kid and a drunk kid. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, there's got to be a phone or a gas station around here somewhere, honey. Yeah, for sure. It, it yeah, like it does not look like there's anything like that. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. There's nothing oh. in sight. Uh, Dorothy. Not, a, not, not an inkling of life out there. That road was closed before you decided to dukes a hazard to fly off of it. You end up walking your ass off. This is no way to run a desert. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Wait, how the heck? I guess Wait. they really did have a patrol car or something came along. <laughs> it's two nice Indians and a man on a camel called it show to our daddy's back. Hey, kids, you thirsty? Yeah, you are. I think you're thirsty, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking how much the repairs are. I'm asking you how much you got. Low bomb. What does your sheriff think of your business practices? <laughs> well, he's the sheriff and a oh. mechanic. So he's just messing around. Oh, no. They didn't even put the... <laughs> so he's primarily the sheriff. Sheriff, mechanic, judge, jury, executioner. He's the whole nine. He does... You go through him for anything. How much do you have, Audrey? 35 she has forty dollars, Dad. What a snitch! She's asleep, Clark. Ross, want to look through Edna's purse? Clark, <laughs> <laughs> that is wild. 
She gonna wake up like she has eleven the cents. Undertaker. Dad. Terrific. <laughs> eleven cents. <laughs> I'm making this out for one thousand dollars. All you have to do is give me three hundred dollars in cash and keep seven hundred dollars. The only thing I can do is have you stay here until the check clears. Ten working days. Ugh, I don't like this guy. Nine for oh, a thousand? Oh. Rob him. Rob him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> you're, you're... Oh, shit. Come on, kids. Get your butts in the car. Go. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, one, Looks great, two, honey. Okay. Uh, yep. Just gotta, uh, get, get, gotta, gotta get a go here. Yeah, I just committed a felony. I just robbed them <laughs> <laughs> with everything they had. Mom, tell Audrey to quit pushing on Edna on me. I'm sick of her lying on me all the time. Yeah, no, her head would be against the window so if that was me. I'd be like, I'm not sitting. Only a few hours to Phoenix. Let her be. She's fine. Dude, is she dead? She's dead. Oh, my God, please. Clark, please. Mom, we don't have to ride with the dead person, do we? Please say we don't. Get in the car, kids. <laughs> what do you do in that situation? Do you ride with the dead person? You don't have a choice, right? Like, you have She's to. She's going to call 911 or whoever you call. Get it taken care of. <laughs> you can't put her up on that roof. Yes, he can. Oof. What's the difference? She'll be fine. It's not as if it's going to rain or something. That, that cop's going to come back like... <laughs> oh, it's going to rain. <laughs> That doesn't look suspicious <laughs> at all. <laughs> Yo, oh, that's absurd. Christ's sake, he isn't even home. Maybe the neighbors know where he is. The moron knows we're coming and he isn't home. Here's a note. I've gone to Flagstaff, be back on Monday. Oh. Wow, that's ridiculous. That would have me furious if someone ever did that to me. Because he knew they were coming. Right. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you rather I slipped her in the night deposit box at the funeral home? Come on. <laughs> Clark, we have to at least say something. I love how cold they all are, except for the mom. <laughs> Everyone else doesn't give a damn. Yay! Though the Hindus speak of karma. Clark. <laughs> <laughs> give her a break. Clark. <laughs> Hallelujah. And though the Hindus <laughs> speak of karma, I implore you to give her a break. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> We love this woman with all our hearts. Let's not overdo it, Mom. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he left his dead mother tied to a lawn chair in his backyard. I'm sure he won't mind. In hindsight, it does sound really bad. It does, but it was a quick solution to <laughs> a bad problem. I don't want to be in the car anymore. I want to go home. I don't want to go to Wally World. Oh, uh, you're... We made this goddamn trip. You're going to like it. That's the marijuana talking. <laughs> Listen up, you baked motherfucker. <laughs> just yeah, it's going. been a real drag, Dad. Shut up, drunky. You're just coming down on the beer. <laughs> yeah. What is this? <laughs> Everyone's against me. Who wants to go on the roof next? Fucking. I, will I think you're all fucked in the head. Oh. We're ten hours from the fucking fun park, and you want to bail out. I'm gonna have fun, and you're gonna have fun. He's officially kidnapping his family. <laughs> Dad, you want to ask for something? <laughs> Don't touch! <laughs> Have mercy. Waiting for someone? No! I mean, make it more obvious. He's like, wrong yeah. pipe. Just... <laughs> the truth of it is, and this is highly confidential, uh, I own this motel. What? I thought you were going to say you work for the CIA. I was. I don't like to talk about it. It's giving me very big vibes of uh, a character that we saw in a film yeah. not so long ago. <laughs> yeah. It's too bad you're married. Married? Oh, you mean those people I'm with? Oh, he's failing this test. My brother's ring. No, I usually borrow them on these little inspection tours of mine. 
Griswold, I thought you were a goofball. You are a piece of shit. Oh, he's done for. He's done for. He's caving. Uh. <laughs> He's done. It's it. You can't. You can't bounce back from this. Don't you swim? At this point, brother, you committed already. Like, don't do it. He still can leave. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's. I'm in deep. I'm in deep. No. Yeah, but you can not go in. Claw? Oh shit. Yeah, I thought, you know, a good hot swim loosen up the muscles. Hot swim. I didn't see this person, so I, uh, I screamed. You know, that's why I yelled. You can imagine, can't you, honey? I thought this is your brother's family. Uh... That's it? She just shook her head? Russ, you know I wouldn't do anything to hurt your mom. These feelings make you do things you wouldn't normally do. Like swimming naked with girls. Don't shift the blame on your feelings, Griswold. She took your order? She took my order, yeah. <laughs> swimming waitress. Oh, yeah, that's believable. Naked swimming waitress. Honey? Ooh, are you mad? Mm. <laughs> Do you like that girl? How could I like a girl like that? She's ugly. It's like you appreciate the lie, <laughs> but what if she was pretty? What if she was hot? <laughs> yeah, like what? I know how to have fun. You woke the whole motel up again. Damn it, we made it! Oh, oh it's actually called Wally World. Yeah. I was thinking you're calling like nickname it like Walt Disney World. Oh, like, no, I thought you were no. nicknaming like Walt Disney World, like <laughs> Wally World. I, was, I thought they were just going to Walmart. <laughs> I'm confused. Why is it empty? Is it closed? Tell me it's closed. Just beautiful. <laughs> oh, the dog. I would go ape shit if I got it. It was closed. I would snap. <laughs> I would rip my shirt, beat my chest, and start flipping shit all over the place. I'd lose it. I'd lose it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> that hurt uh -huh, what it can be. <laughs> <laughs> he owes the Griswolds, right? Fucking A right he owes us. Clark, you're scaring me. Come on. Come Clark. On. Clark, now just a minute. Motherfucker said quest A B unlock. <laughs> <laughs> Find oh, out no. why Wally World closed for two weeks. Reward. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. I can fly home and forget this entire vacation ever happened. Honey, honey, just relax, okay? I told you I'm not. What's angry in the anymore. bag, Griswold? <laughs> yeah. Also, you you can't forget this vacation. Do you understand? Your aunt gun died. In the bag? <laughs> yeah, I think there's a gun in the bag. What? What's this regarding, Mr. Grizzle? Ah, uh, we're here for public amusement relations or this is a summer inspection to a personal matter. I'm afraid I'm gonna need a little more than that, sir. Okie dokie. How's this? Oh, it is a gun! Now you listen to me, fat ass. You do what I say and it won't be any problem, okay? <laughs> We're not really violent people. This is oh. our first gun. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> <clears throat> this is scary, isn't it? You boys and girls, make sure you keep your... <laughs> when this is all over, you're... Father may be going away for a little while. <laughs> I had a bad experience on this ride once before. What happened? I threw up. Oh no! Why is he in the front? Why is he in the front? That's actually like a nightmare. Like to have someone in the front that is gets sick easy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, cover his mouth. 
This reminds me of a comic. Oh, on uh, what? Coney Island or on no, uh, from Great Six Flags? Yeah. Oh, they call me SWAT team. <laughs> oh, okay, thank gosh. That's not a real gun, is it, Clark? It could. It could break the skin. It could put a lodge under the skin and cause a very bad infection. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's not. You're not going. Oh, right in the ass. I told you. I you, warned you. You wrecked your pants. Your pants <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was a BB gun the whole time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I really hope this guy doesn't puke. That's the only thing I keep thinking about. Alright. Freeze! <gasps> oh. oh. Don't you! Out! Oh my god. They, they, they even got above him. These people are terrorists. Where? There. Them? The summer picnic last year, and I just want to tell you, I had to great I don't remember. Like, they kidnapped one of my men. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Normally, I get sick on all your rides. Quiet! Sick oh. <laughs> uh, I think I can make some sense out of this. Well, somebody better explain, or they'll, uh, there'll be a lot of explaining to do. <sighs> Two weeks of living hell driving out here. I lost a very dear member of this family along the way. Ooh. Oh, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Took the whole clan to Florida one year. Worst two weeks I've ever had in my life. The smell from the back seat was to unbearable. I mean, I'm... Well, perfect. He understands. Yeah. Totally get you out of holding a security guard hostage. If you were me, wouldn't you do the same thing for your children? No. No. Oh. Forget it, officer. I'm not going to press any charges. Out! Oh! <laughs> That's a happy ending. You say trust me, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, part of the plan, Chris. Well, oh, part, part of the plan. plan. He knew. He knew from the jump. All right, that was our reaction to National Lampoon's Vacation. If you liked what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this and various other movies, you'll get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. You check that out on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Zay, why don't you take this one away first? Yeah, um, this was a very, very fun movie. Um, once again, uh, Chevy Chase is just hilarious. I mean, I, he definitely, I, w I won't say that he like carries the movie in the sense that the other, uh, like his family isn't, uh, the actors that play his family members aren't well done, but he's just clearly like the, the head honcho lead role. He just kills it every single time. And I think it's nice because they compliment him very well. I think the wife does very well complimenting him. I think even the kids, I'm still very curious about Rusty and who that child is. In the other one? Yeah, because who? Yeah, because maybe we're just misremembering. Maybe he just had darker hair in the other one or something. I, no, mean, I don't no. know. He was he was played by a. He was totally different, right? Younger, chubbier, shorter. All right, so I thought. So, <laughs> either way, uh, regardless, um, the movie was super fun. Like I said, uh, very very. It's relatable, I'm sure, for many people. If you've ever been on a road trip, especially with family, if you even have a family this size or just, I mean, even there's even um, similarities I could draw from when Cam and I went on vacation with two of our friends and just kind of like not extreme experiences like that, but just, you know, different <laughs> mayhem that can occur and just, you know, the singing vibing out as you're driving along. Not so much the chaos that they had to go through robbing a hotel and holding a security guard at gunpoint. Um, but I will say the comedy for me overall landed pretty much most of the, I would say most of the time, if not all the time, there's a, a few spots where it's like, okay, like, you know, not the best. I would say I, I gotta see, I think I kind of like Christmas vacation a little bit more personally. Um, I think that the family aspect of Christmas vacation made it a little bit more relatable to me and also added a cov like added a little bit extra especially with cousin eddie and everyone that was involved um but overall just once again a very very uh well done crazy comedy um and it makes me interested to see the other ones too in, in the franchise since i know there's a few more that we have not seen yeah yeah i uh i i really enjoyed this movie i thought it was a really fun uh hilarious adventure to go on with the Griswold family like you said relatable definitely comes to mind in just terms of like 
you know, like Griswold has those relatable qualities of like, I mean, personally, like, I feel like I would have a lot of those qualities as a dad or something like that, where it's just like that, like that, like that trying to live loose and silly with life, but also kind mm -hmm. of sometimes getting your emotions take over or whatever. Um, they did a good job at, at, at having everything flow in a way that felt relatively natural. And it like, we, there are some movies where you're like, okay, well, this was in here for comedy's sake, and this was in here for comedy's sake. Like, what mm -hmm. relevance does this really have to the plot? And while some things here were had loose relevance, it was all part of the adventure, which was which was right. really fun to see. It didn't feel like something was so out of left field that it, it completely fell out of place. It, it, it all kind of served the purpose of progressing the plot forward and and something you know introducing obstacles and stuff like that on their adventure, which I thought was done really well. Um, mm -hmm. like you said, yeah, most of it, most of the funny moments hit some, some misses of course. Uh, and I do think Christmas vacation was a little bit better, but, uh, I still really enjoyed this for the fun adventure, hilarious experience that it was. Um, you know, I, I thought that they did, uh, I felt like the kids in this one were utilized more than in Christmas Vacation. Like, yes. I felt like in this one, they had a lot of more comedic purposes and stuff like that, which was great. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they're incorporated into the future uh, National Lampoon Vacation movies. And it'll mm -hmm. be interesting to see how, how Griswold and the wife are, uh, his wife are introduced into the, the National Lampoon Vacation movies, the ones that we haven't seen yet, because um, it does seem like there is a similar vibe of of Griswold is just trying to do what's best for his family, or he's just mm -hmm. he's not trying to do what's best for his family, but trying to do what he thinks is something that he wants his family to experience. Like he wants his family to experience the Christmas, or he wants his family to experience this road trip. He doesn't care if they want it; he wants them to right experience it. Like, and he thinks that it, it'll be great. Um, and it's all the comedy that ensues from from that kind of mindset is perfect. He, he, we got another classic like outbreak from him where he just fucking <laughs> lost his shit. That was great. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, a lot of relatable moments, a lot of funny moments. And I thought it was done really well. The pacing felt fine to me. Um, I will say that the, the, the aspect with the, with the, the succubus or the woman was really funny until yeah. it got to a point where it was just like, uh, like I, I, everybody's different. So maybe it was funny for someone all the way up, but it did get to the point where it's like, okay, now like this is a, like now this is just just adultery. <laughs> like at this point, it's like yeah, yeah. Like it's like I, agree. I, I wish they like maybe put a break on it at some point. Like realize like he was like, you know what, I shouldn't be doing this, and then maybe something really hilarious ensues after that. It did, yeah. And I felt that same vibe as well. And look, some of you guys might be like, oh, look at these soft snowflakes from Gen Z or whatever. Maybe that has something to do with our generation. Maybe it doesn't. But I felt like with the dog as well, there were funny aspects to it. Like, really? Like, this is a crazy situation. But it did kind of feel like now we're just kind of like, okay, yeah, he killed his dog. This is pretty rough. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I think that that and the adultery um, situation kind of, it felt like they were trying to be funny, but in some moments it was like, yikes but i think yeah. in a situation like the ant edna situation where it's another yikes situation it was executed perfectly i felt yeah. like the comedy was executed in a way where it i don't feel, i didn't feel like for a moment where it was like like oh this is actually like like really really horrible it felt like they had that whole moment executed comedically which maybe they could have done with the adultery and dog moment but i felt like they they didn't as well as they could have but there was still there was still a funny aspect around the whole thing oh yeah of course um but yeah overall great movie uh fun adventure and it look it gets me super excited to see what uh comes next the acting was very well chevy chase was classic chevy chase in this um chevy chase in this and um the wife did a great job like you said uh as like kind of like a compliment to to chevy chase and you know a perfect type of character to be his other side in terms of like reacting to what he has to say and everything going on so yeah any final thoughts before we get into the rating no i think um i'll touch on what i think could have been done in my opinion with the dog and with the 
uh, we keep calling her succubus, but <laughs> the succubus um, in the in the in the rating because it definitely affected my rating for me personally, just on how I would rate. But no, other than that, I have no other final thoughts before we get into the rating. All right. Well, with that being said, just so you guys know, we go from zero to ten. We never give out zeros. We never give out tens. Why? Well, because by giving out a zero, you're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie. By giving out a ten, you're saying nothing could be better than this movie. Both of those things are our subjective opinion. Uh, five is average. Six is good. Seven is great. Eight is beyond that. Nine is top tier cinema. Zay, where would you put this? So I would probably put this. I think I'd comfortably put this. I, we kind of do ranges. It dipped in and out for me. I think the movie was very, very funny. Um, I mean, I would probably say like eight to like an 8.25. I still, it's a very good movie. I'll say this compare, especially drawing it in contrast to Christmas vacation. Um, I agree with your sentiments on Aunt Edna done very, very well. That was very, very, it was a morbid situation. That was done very, very well. The dog one, here's where I think that they almost took it too far with it. I think the dog one would have been funnier if they didn't get pulled over by a cop and the cops like, like, you know what I'm saying? If it was more like Griswold, like pulled over for a second, went in the back and then saw the leash and you're like, sure. Yeah. And he's like hiding it instead of like the, having a cop. Because the cop made it serious. The cop was like, like this oh, is emotional. Horrible. I had like, a dog like that. And I'm like, like <laughs> <laughs> it, it made it like uncomfortable. It's like, ha ha. Okay. And then the succubus one, like, it would have just been funnier if like he never even got that far with it. Like every time and like some like tra tragedy happened or some cutoff happened or, you know, whatever the case was, but like him getting to the point where he got on the pool, there was like, okay, well this is kind of weird because it's not fitting the vibe of the film. Like the, right. the vibe of the film is like, uh Oh, like disaster strikes or, uh Oh, things are going good. Like she's flirting with him. And then boom, this happens. They almost get hit by an 18 wheeler. You draw drawing the dog, the dog aspect one more time into contrast. In Christmas Vacation, like when the uh, it's gonna be a spoiler, so if you haven't seen Christmas Vacation for whatever reason, skip this piece. But the cat, Aunt Bethany's cat, sure, yeah, yes. chew the light like that was fun because you're like, oh my god, it was a shocking, funny, but like, okay, let's keep it going. Um, the kids were utilized way more efficiently in this film, and it's interesting because Christmas Vacation was very focused on uh Jerry Seinfeld, who played a neighbor and his wife, and I think it was, I think it was Jerry Seinfeld in uh. Was it Jerry Seinfeld? I can't remember now. I think it was maybe not. I thought it was literally, or there was someone from Seinfeld that were playing the neighbors, like fancy, posh, like very over the top. Oh, it was modern. Julia Louis Dreyfus, but it wasn't yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Was, okay. Oh, yeah. But it was it from, Jerry. she was from the Seinfeld show. Yes. So I was thinking of um the wife in it. They used a lot, it was weird. They utilized the neighbor and like cousin Eddie a lot more in that. So I'm wondering if they took criticism and maybe they felt uh, like tried to form fit it, like, oh, maybe they'll like this better. Makes me interested in seeing the further films, regardless. But overall, again, great acting, very, very well done comedy throughout most of the film. A few nitpicks, obviously, there's always going to be nitpicks. And I, at the end of the day, I will say this one will fall below Christmas Vacation for me, but makes me interested to see how they adapted future installments in the franchise for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close to your rating here. Um, I'm gonna just say eight, but I'm gonna give a range, uh, seven point eight to eight point two, and I'll say why. Um, mm. the highs were 8.2, the lows were 7.8. Uh, but overall, I want to stick it at, at eight, which is still beyond great. Um, mm. it has the National Lampoon's charm. It's got the wholesomeness to it. Uh, the fun family vibes, the fun road trip vibes. Uh, but yes, it did steer off from the vibes a couple times, which brings it down a little bit for me. Uh, but but the moments that were the most funny brought brings it up a lot as well. Yeah. So um. It it had it had it it had Edna eating that gross stuff. Edna was a great touch um, mm -hmm. to the to the entire film. Uh, like you said, it was interesting. They didn't incorporate other people that much. It was really just focused on them. But you could tell from watching this film because I know you just kind of mentioned it as well. It feels like from watching this film that this was like you 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 can almost see like they took what worked in this and mm -hmm. translated to lampoon's christmas vacation and it almost feels like they left out from this what didn't work from yeah christmas vacation because spoiler alert again if you haven't seen christmas vacation there is a scene in christmas vacation where i think he's he is looking at another girl um and he's talking to rusty but it never go it you know it, it he fantasizes yes. about it right yes and yes, that's there funny. is yes um 
and 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 instead of actually like getting to that point so it does feel like this movie was like kind of like a rough draft for an even better movie later on um but it did it had the charm it had the wholesomeness uh it had the outbreaks the outlandish moments it uh it had great shots fun times uh and um this is definitely a a movie i would recommend to other people and i could see Mm. why this would be considered a classic to some people i mean this could be used as an easy uh blueprint for future movies to come um it's a classic you know disaster movie in the sense of disasters are happening not like a you know a tower is burning or anything like that but it's a disaster movie as in like there's one thing after the next and it provides this amazing hilariousness to ensue um it gets you really excited for the next one, and it makes you wonder why they haven't done something like this again. I mean, we've seen there have been recent movies kind of like this, like Vacation and um, We Are the Millers and stuff like that. And I wonder mm-hmm. if this movie served as a foundation for all of those because this did come first. Uh, and yeah. we know National Lampoon did Animal House before this, but we don't believe that involves the Griswold family. And we do plan mm-hmm. on getting to that at some point. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this could have been the the the, the tone setter. So for being the tone setter, potentially, it did a really good job at 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 creating this foundation for future, you know, road trip disaster movies, or at least playing a piece in it, or or even just if it's just for the National Lampoon series. Great, great foundation. Um, and uh, yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Well, with that being said. Uh, thank you guys again for being here. Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, Zay, I know you have a Twitch. Yes, I do, guys. My Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Feel free to tune in and stop by. Obviously, um, this is going to be releasing later than when we're talking about it, but I've been having an immense amount of support from the YouTube actually recently. Um, had a ton of you guys over there just the other night, and it's been great. I love seeing the support over there. Glad you guys could see another side of me, getting to play games, getting to interact with the chat live i know we do lives on our youtube and it's nice to even be able to do lives on twitch where get a whole different audience as well um so feel free to stop by tune in say hi stop by and say hi cam is sometimes on there especially during the weekends when i'm playing games with him or we're playing competition games or friendly games where you have to cooperate um so it's always a good time guys i hope to see you there and like i said that link will be down in the description below yeah check it out uh you don't want to miss it uh it's always a fun time Listen, guys, if you're planning a vacation, um, luckily nowadays you can use technology and uh, make sure the place you're going to isn't closed for two weeks. Uh, and if it is, don't take any illegal measures. Uh, <laughs> he got lucky on this one. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. And peace. All right, we're going on that ride.